Okay. What did we do? Where did we mess up? We have no food. Um. Or no, uh, yeah, but no food. So there's oxygen here. Oh, it's going, that's going down. There's the oxygen going up. Did we accidentally break something? With all that shit we were doing? Oh man, that air is going to be cold as fuck. Negative 49.3. That's a big yikes. So, oh, I think it's because of this. This is messing them up. Because they're, they're reverting back to that. So what we should do is put in a couple of, uh, just a couple of jumps and that'll take care of it. Yeah, that was scary. We got a vacuum going on. That's been going on for a while. There's a small... <laughs> this is where that emergency air comes in handy, by the way. Let's <laughs> go dumping in there. So let's do this. Let's, um... One of these here, and then one of these here. We'll, uh, we'll do the trick. That should do it. I think I had the same problem with the my, with my other... My other build as well. Let's go ahead and... This is like super emergency, though. We ain't got no food. God, who knows how long it's been like that for, though. Because... I noticed that somebody was carrying water to the uh, microbe thing. And if they're carrying water to the microbe musher, then that means they're making mush bars, right? So, I should have noticed that a long time ago. Damn. Damn. It's cool, though. I mean, it's going to be very cool very shortly. How funny. No oxygen, none of that stuff. We were so focused, so hyper-focused, we didn't see any of this nonsense. It's crazy. Uh, crude oil. Nice. Okay, so let's go dump, dump oil all over the place down there. And I guess we'll go down and sweep it up or do something with it. Eventually, we have a puddle of oil down there. Uh, so we're going to use that for weird creatures you want there. In plastic, uh, in plastic and oil conserving. Hard to find a workaround. Two overcasts for a solar charger to charge, and it's getting late. Oh, man. Save that battery, dude. I, I mean, I appreciate you here hanging out and watching, but, you know, you might need that extra 10% for something else. You know? You might need that battery power. Like a midnight wank or something. Super important. You never know. Alright, let's see. Uh, was it when growing bomb lilies? I had to put a space heater in to get the chlorine to like 70 Celsius so the shit would finally grow. Super annoying. Oh, interesting. Bomb lilies require that much heat, huh? Okay. So now we're good. Uh, everything's fine. Didn't take long to fix that problem. Barely breathable. How funny, man. Uh, thermostat wise, though, we should probably. <laughs> Alpaca. Uh, oh, it's actually, it was starting to warm up here, too. It's probably because of the water they're bringing in to feed these things, right? Oh, well, the, I can see water there. It's all garbage food. The food is going to be the, obviously the last thing we do. We're not even going to touch that, you know, this week. And we're not going to play it tomorrow. So that'll be a uh, next week Mike B thing. Ah, that's right. Thermostats. Let's get thermostats up. Let's see. Thermostat. Oops. Thermosensors. We'll put them... I guess we'll just put them kind of in the middle of the rooms. Right? I mean, I don't want to... I think we will be fine. We just do a couple, maybe one every floor or something. This is not going to be the most effective way of distributing this heat. But it will at least keep her from getting too cold, and I think that's that's the biggest thing we have to we have to deal with is we don't want this place to get too cold, because then we could because basically we're, we're we'll be conserving. Um, I want to conserve. Would you cancel that? Oh, okay. Uh, I want to conserve the 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 Wee's Ward strength for other things too, right? So, you know, by doing this, by doing this, going through and uh, oh, that oil is super hot actually. Yikes. Put some drains down there or something. But, um, gas pipe. Oh, what's the temperature plate at? Temperature plate negative 21. Okay, that's getting colder. But we don't have to have constant cold air coming through. That's what I'm trying to say. It's like if we if we could cut off the cold air and just have some warm air and just keep it, you know, at a certain temperature, then, you know, we'll be good. But, um, yeah, man, these, these things are hot. Man, look at this guy. This guy's 152 degrees. Are the small ones just hotter? Is it because they're fresh? <laughs> just came out of the uh, the printer. <laughs> it's, it's just so hot, 100 something degrees. Let me see thermostat. So yeah, we'll put a couple thermostats up, uh, kind of scatter them about, and then we'll connect them to the ribbon. Ribbon goes up. 
We have this room over here, which I think is fine as is. So we don't really have to control the temperature on this one just yet. I mean, definitely not right now because it's just, it's, it's cat playing catch up right now. But, uh, it's saying, say I had seven fridges to get my, to get my food to not rot. Was using all my power until I found a way to split the power and have a cooker that cooked all my meal lights and reduced it down to four fridges. So like 600,000 calories. How many dupes do you have? That's a lot. I'm always, I'm always floating between a hundred and, uh, and 200,000 calories. I'm pretty comfortable with that. Pretty comfortable with that, you know? You have eight dupes. Wow, you're ready for the apocalypse. <laughs> you're ready. Um, let's have this go up and over. Uh oh, we're gonna get... We're gonna move this wire. We'll go straight across. Whoops, not like that though. I'm gonna do this now because it will... There we go. Actually, let's not kill this. This, we'll just snip it. Then we'll connect this over here. Okay, let's wait. I had mealwood growing since like cycle five or six. Yeah, I I'm still got these guys on mealwood. Uh, I do want to eventually get them off mealwood and onto, you know, better foods. But they're, I mean, it's funny, like they're not complaining, you know? But you get them better, give them better foods, get them on a, um, you know, get them just happier. Uh, you gotta get them more skills and I don't know, get more dupes. To kind of expand a little bit. One, two, three. This room right here is always getting shit on. There's just no no cold air going in there at all. Let me see. Okay. Maybe I should maybe I should put a vent in there, right? And you know, if I pull a vent from that, I should get it from the cold air that's going over here. And bridge that in. And then I have its own thermostat and everything. There we go. That'll run that therm that, yeah, that'll be the thermostat that I run for the uh, instead of using the base, the same, instead of using the same air for the rooms, I'll use the rooms, the, the same air that I use for over here, because that one is definitely running at, uh, top efficiency right now. It's a negative 46.2 on the temp shift plate. So yeah, that's pretty, pretty good. Let's go ahead and put that there, and then we'll run... Thankfully this part's, like, easy, you know? I do have to run a bunch of automation though for a couple atmospheric sensors. So we'll put atmospheric sensor. This will put it. Or sorry, um, ammo sensor. They can't reach up there. Mm, should we just do one here and have it just spread? That's not a bad idea, actually. They can reach it. They can't reach up there though. Mm, can I put a bridge? Uh, I can put a. No. Must be built in an occupied space. Oh, okay. They can't do that. Let's go to this light. Secure this fucking light. And then we'll run some piping over here. That'll come straight off this bridge to here. And then. Connect this to this. Get some readers. Writer's gone. Writer. Let's see. Writer. 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 Writer's good. Writer. Writer. And that's it, right? Let's see. One, two, three, uh, four, five, six. Okay, good. So we'll, we'll wait for them to finish all these. They should be able to reach this once I move some things out of the way. If I go, uh, that'll make them reach some, but they can't reach on this side. There you go. Now they can. And they'll work, they should work on this up pretty quickly because it's in the base, maybe? Um... You always forget food if I don't make a habit of growing it. It's gotta automate that stuff, man. Oh, crazy, we lost so much. This is creating heat, and I don't like that. Uh, I thought it was cool having Slicksters down there to do work, but I'm over that shit already. Have a good night, Himes! Thank you so much for the hookup on the, uh, the subs, man. I appreciate it. I'm sure they appreciate it as well. Should we just stick them down here where they drown? They don't drown, do they? They'll have plenty of fun down here making oil. <laughs> just let them just go down there. Just have fun. Kind of pleasing. Goes it's like a step, step, step. One, two, three. This room's hydrogen. This room's hydrogen. Once the once we get our oxygen back in, 
uh, it'll pressure this back up and out of the way. So just takes time. Oh, they're just having a good old time. Okay, let's let's raise the priority on some of these because this is going to take forever. Apparently. They built the ladders though, which is cool. That's what I want to be but while you're sleeping. Yeah, who's up in this corner? Martha. Mm-mm. Martha and Chaos. And Killing Demon. They're not stressed out though. They don't seem to care. What is the deal? These guys are so chill. Oh, there's some hatches over here. Oh boy, what do we do with all these hatches? Oh, they're all dead. Well. We'll work with them some other time. Ah, man, I don't know if I like these slicksters down here. That was a cool idea, but then, then it very quickly became not a cool idea. Maybe I will just put them down here. Just toss it down here. Let them make, uh... Put a couple tiles. Let me see. That way they don't drown, necessarily. Not right away, anyways. <laughs> Create a drop-off. There. We'll come back to that. Plenty of carbon dioxide down there. I don't have to clean up any messes. Deconstruct. Did they get my shit in? They did. It's done. Okay. So, uh, I want to send... Well, first, let's go ahead and adjust... Oh, they're not all done. Um, what do we... So, bit one is... This is bit two. So, bit two is the bottom one. Bottom one is, I think, for the main base. Ish? I see that it's split here. Like, it actually doubles up. I see. I put a splitter here so that way if it doesn't have enough oxygen coming through this line then it will substitute with oxygen coming out of this line but that's not really a problem right now I don't think so um kind of want think I'm gonna go and deconstruct this that way we keep it totally separate I don't want to contaminate cross contaminate my my cut my, my temperatures you know Okay, so they'll get rid of those. There, so now it's just a dedicated one. So the bottom one is the main living quarters and also this, which I'm gonna change that. That's that's silly to have um, oxygen piped into this. That's cold. It's a complete waste of oxygen. Cold oxygen. And then the bypass is set up on two. So two and then one. So one is gonna be for this guy here that's not built yet and for this, but we're not gonna control temperature over here just yet. So we're not gonna worry about that. So everything else is gonna be on two. They're not built yet, son of a bitch. Build it, man. Make an emergency. Got all day. You don't mind? Just, just slurping up all that uh, hydrogen? Mm-mm. Yeah, let's just make it a right now now thing. Not a tomorrow thing. Where are y'all going? Oh, is that where all the iron is? Oh boy, no wonder it's taking them so long. Is that where all the iron is? I have 10 tons of it. Oh. Hmm. It's just all over the place. Man. There's something right there. What are you doing? Well, we'll, we'll just leave this up and let them finish. But things are looking pretty good. I would like to get... Uh-oh. Oh, man. Why couldn't you just go use the restroom? What's wrong with the restroom? It's right there. It's ready. They're all ready. Look at ready, 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 ready. <sighs> Alright, well, Lindsay Peterson. Damn it. Because, oh yeah, because I worked them to the bone. I know. I'm, I work, I'm working them to death. Work all night. No time for food. I'm not rebuilding everything. I'm just forcing them to, to hurry up and finish this damn automation. The problem is they have to go so far for iron, and that's a that's an issue. That's a that's not an issue for me right now, though. Okay. Okay. So temperature. This is going to be four bits. Uh, one. So that's fine. One. And this one, I wanted to send a green signal if it's. Uh, let me see. It's above 85. 
then send a green signal. Oh no, I want it to send a... If it's below, because right now it's pumping in cold air. That's control of the atmosphere. Here. Which is set to, should be set to what these are set to. So 1200 now. So that's going to stay open for a minute. It's going to bring in some pretty cold air, 33 degrees. So that'll chill the room pretty fast. Uh, and then a thermostat. I should put the thermostat on the edges, not right here. Let's see what this room does after some time. We just want to get rid of this. It's like a hot spot, you know, in the middle of the base. And it's, it's impacting everything else. Uh, let's see. So we wanted to send a green signal. The green signal is going to... Let me see. It's going to turn it down above. And let's watch what it does here. It opens this up and let's do hot air. Okay, so if it's above uh, 44 degrees, we want it to heat up. But let's just set it to like 70 degrees. And we'll say if it drops below 70 degrees to uh, to turn on the heat. Let's make it 75 degrees. So below 75 degrees, turn on the heat. Might they all should, all should be like that, actually. So below 75 degrees, turn on the heat. There you go. So some of them are already on. But these are not on the right bit, I don't think. These have to be on bit two. It's bit two. Oh, I can't copy those. This is a bit two. Bit four. Oh, that's right. That was a, that was a previous setup. That's got to be a four. And this is uh, bit one. This is going to be bit two. This is going to be bit two. So it's not... Uh, because we're kind of piggybacking the same signal on everything, it's going to probably stay green for a long time, but I feel like after a certain amount of time, it should start to balance itself out just a little bit. But we'll see, you know? Um, right now, there's already a couple that are green. There's actually just one that's green. So one is letting in some heat because it's too cold in there. What is that temperature in there? Yeah, so that's too cold. So... Uh, does that make it a giant OR gate? Pretty much. Uh, the OR gate is useful because it isolates the signal. So that's like the, the main usefulness of that. Um, so yeah, we don't have the benefits of isolating a signal, but we don't really have to use that too often. I, I've used that in some previous builds, but for what we're building right here, nah. But the base is cold though, man. Like this is great. And this room is going to get pretty chill too. And this is going to be, this is probably going to toggle back and forth. But for right now, I think it's going to take a while because at 80 degrees right now. So it's going to be a while before it does. I do think that we should probably push that over to the side. Um, oh, you know, this atmospheric sensor is... Uh, this is where, yeah, we should have a gas sensor. Because the hydrogen, it's sensing hydrogen. And it's saying, oh, no, it's fine. It's got plenty of hydrogen. But that's not helping any. They can't breathe it. <laughs> Let's see. We could just put a couple of, uh, maybe just, maybe just one actually is all we need. And then just wire those to a couple others. So gas element sensor. Hey, we'll put that like right here, I think. Mm. Yeah. And we could just connect that to a couple of things directly. And I think it should over, overrule it. Let's see. So let's go up into this one. Oh, I should just do that. We'll just go straight across. And then... Also... Down here. I'll go across like this. Mm. It doesn't need to be on all of them, but yeah, just a couple. Especially at the bottom, because it'll push it up. You know? So... We'll go over there, we do a jump. Let's leave it like this. So when it senses hydrogen, send a green signal to open a gate. See, so yeah, we don't need this one here. There. So that's going to force that open. It's not getting a lot of oxygen up here right now anyways because of what? Oh, because we're feeding. Yeah, because we keep feeding this. So we should probably solve this like right now. <laughs> right this second, damn it. Uh, let's get rid of this. Where are we going to put it, though? It's got to go somewhere out of the way. Over here was really great. It was out of the way. Mm, looks like we could probably put it over here. You know, it's sitting there pretty nicely. We get hydrogen out of it, though. So I don't know if we necessarily want to... Put it down here. In the corner right here, just for tempor temporarily, maybe? Or put it down here. God, we cleaned all this shit up. I don't want to clutter it back up again. So we have hydrogen as though we have to pull out of this as well. Uh, 
let's put let's put it down somewhere. So let's see, we'll put a oh it's not oxygen. So advanced electrolyzer pipes both of them in and out, and then I guess we'll just oh you know what if we put it up here it's not bad yeah it's not gonna be that bad we'll just have to well, obviously we we'll reroute all these things but um we'll put airflow tiles one two then we're gonna kill all these pipe re redirect this pipe rather yeah this will be fine here there and then we'll snip this here gotta empty out that line It's super close, so the oxygen will just go straight in, like da da da, done, right? And then the hydrogen, we can just ride that, we just run that down, just run a uh, parallel to this, into this right here. So, yeah, it'll be fine. It's power. Power might be a problem, is it? Mm, nope, no, actually, power is fine. Just make sure there's no hydrogen in this line right here, or uh, natural gas. Oh, I see, actually. Now it's gonna be... Nah, we'll take off. There. Hurry! <laughs> Want everything done, damn it. Now! Build it, build it, build it. The power, go to this. Good. Fantastic. See? Just a little encouragement. That's all. Just turn on the alarms. Okay, so this could go down. We'll make this a nine. So we'll go like this. Done. And then we could cut this from here. And then what the other one will go down. We'll just run alongside this other one, maybe. Let me see. We could go just straight down, really. Like this. Mm. There. That's good. And that will fill the suits. Just as it is, um, and it will conserve some of this actual cold oxygen for the rooms, so we can pressurize the rooms again. There we go. So we should see these things kind of toggling back and forth. Yeah, like this one's this this one's feeding in a lot of warm oxygen, which is fine. Like we have, I mean, the oxygen's coming out at 0 0.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, but yeah, it'll be a much needed break for a lot of the uh, for for down in here. And it takes time, like initially, it's going to be very jarring, it's going to be like hot and cold and all that stuff. But I think as it kind of sways back and forth, it'll start to slowly find like a median. Oh no, the Wart Z! Oh man, I love being a streamer. <laughs> Let's see, is this thing almost done? Not yet. Do I leave them enough oxygen to complete the job? Can't build a thing. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, X. Yes, exactly. <laughs> the same page. It's not that hot over here, though. I can just have them go over there and do it. They'll be upset. They'll be uncomfortable, but that's about it. Pushing it, though. Oh my god, all this oil. Did they rebuild the, uh... They did. Good. So let's go ahead and build these. Like there's only four, right? They didn't replicate. And then they're entombed. <laughs> Man! This, this is gonna be for. Slickster larva, Slickster. Perfect. And that's gonna be a. Make that a nine, two. So drop it off. Poor Buffy. Get that one done, because at least that one's deep, deep in that mess. Okay. Good. Oh my god, it needs water. Oh, <laughs> look at that. That's so convenient. <laughs> I totally forgot about the water. But look at that. That's nice. Uh, that water is coming. It's plenty of supply there, too. Good. God, do we have enough? I think we have enough to get the job done. The first two are out. That one's gonna be out in a second. 
And see, look, this is slowly cleaning itself up. We don't have to do anything with it. Except for build an entire system to clean it up. Oh, wow. Boy, that's looking pretty full. That's a yikes. That's not a me right now, yikes, though. Oh, man. Is it? Oh, damn it. Uh, looks like we have a couple that already caught. Let's see, tubes look good. Easy access to all this stuff. Once we start making sleet wheat pressure, what's wrong with pressure? Air. Oh, huh. Oh, does it need current gas pressure, air pressure? It doesn't necessarily need oxygen. I wonder if it's wet right there? No. Hmm. We might have to pump some gas into here or something. Oh, it does need oxygen, actually. Carbon dioxide? Oh, there's a layer of carbon dioxide here. Okay, so if I cut this, then that will free that up. That'll grow again. There's not, just not enough carbon dioxide down there. Next week, Mike's favorite thing is managing storage. That's right. I do already have all my blueprints here. I do have a pretty good storage uh, unit or facility that I had already set up. Yeah, this right here. It's not the same as what you saw up there, uh, but I mean, it's same general purpose and it does a really great job. So we could squeeze this in, you know, maybe not here. Oh, it is the same one as here, is it? Oh yeah, what is the same? Oh yeah, it is the same. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking of my farm. My farm is totally different. Duh. Let me see if I find the farm. Yeah, here's the farm. No, I'm sorry. Um, it is the farm. Yeah. You don't see a lot of stuff though. Oh, duh, because there's nothing planted. But yeah, that's the farm. That does a pretty good job of, uh, of, uh, it's a fully automated system and everything. But yeah, I think the, ah, yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is, uh, this is the good, this is the good storage facility here. So it's three, three, three tiers, uh, and it's less, it looks like, yeah, so it's one fewer in the same amount of space, but it's expanded, I don't know. Um, yeah, we'll have to redo all this stuff. Are shoots really cheating? I know, you try to tempt me with that, huh? Just drop, just drop it on the ground, man. Just drop it on the ground. I know, it's tempting. So tempting. Uh, hydrogen's going in, beautiful. Oxygen's going into the suits, beautiful. And now we have these lines backed up. The best, I'm the best. I'm the greatest. Got this game figured out, man. No oxygen going over here, which is fine. That'll be, we'll just save that for in the future. It's gotta be one way anyways. Why is that thing? Wash basin, uh, set direction. In, I guess in and out, really. Dealing with germs. Uh, let's see. Good, this is forcing those open when needed. And there's, uh, there's oxygen in there. We've already pushed all that hydrogen out. Let me see, temperature wise, we are cold in some areas. Pretty cold. Let's go ahead and do this. Let me see. I know we have a drop right here. This is for, yeah, fruit oil. So we'll raise that up a little bit. Although this room is getting pretty, like pretty full. We're full of oil. We're full of uh, petroleum. We're full of so much stuff. What do we do? What do we do with all this shit? I guess what? I guess now that we're we're at the point where we're kind of getting everything uh, nicely fleshed out and almost perfected in a way. Um, I think after this, we could start doing some proper farming expansion and all that stuff. Let's see. So rewire everything, expand downward, and then coal, hydro, nat gas, petro. I didn't even do coal. Uh, coal is, yeah, mm. Yeah, I guess space is gonna be coming up. We gotta do food, I wanna do food, get that leveled out and everything, and get to the point to where we can just afford to go to space easily, you know? So we can set up a couple farms, bring in a couple more dupes. We're gonna need more dupes if we're gonna do the, far do the space thing, for sure. Uh, hydrogen is building up like mad in here. These things must be dormant right now. Yeah, dormant, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna start, we're gonna start ejecting crude oil into space. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess we can stop with this thing for now. 
it's generating natural gas, which we like, but I think we should probably set it up so that way whenever so whenever it gets over a certain amount, it just stops. Because right now it's leaking oil all over my this mess here. Uh, oh, cool. Oh, there's floating around. Look at that. Oh, they're having a good old time. They're totally fine, man. They're totally fine. I was worried. Pip egg. So I make the same mistake twice. Choo -choo 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 -choo. Okay. Uh, hydro sensor. We'll put this uh, like right, like right here. Not really an emergency, but why not? There. That way we can turn this thing off and not have to manage this thing, and not also not have an overflow of oil leaving this area. It's off. Good. So if it's above, if it's above uh, nine nine nine. There we go. Above. There we go. Eject the dupes into space. <laughs> hydrogen, man. Hydrogen. Go, go, go. I think we could actually uh, ease up a little bit on the natural gas and get some of this hydrogen out of here. Man, because we're, we're now backing up on hydrogen. Yes, so let's... Fuck. Wow, wild. Just crazy. Let's double that. Double the time. Double it. And then anywhere that's 60, what is this one? That's 60, we'll make that 90. Uh, this one is another 30, so we'll make that, let's do that 30 actually, it's fine. They're all gonna be going off at different times it seems. This one is 30, make that 60. 60, make that 90. 90, make that 120. Step it all the way down, buddy. And this one is uh, 90, make that uh, 180. It's hydrogen a fuel option for space? Yeah, like liquid hydrogen, I think. Right? I think so. I mean, that's how we do it in space engineers. <laughs> Surely that's the way it works. Let's see, 60 seconds, 60 seconds, 90 seconds, 90 seconds, additional 30 seconds here, 120 seconds, good. So these three, these will all go on at the same time. And then. 180 seconds. Okay, so that should help go through some of that uh, hydrogen supply, which will kick on now. Let's watch this. Is that enough? Is that enough? Should I run it for longer? We are generating so much hydrogen. And we have so much hydrogen just around. I guess we, I guess we could increase it some more. Wow, I'm a little skeptical of doing this, but... Let's make it, uh, let's fucking make it 120. 120, copy settings. 120. This one is what? Let me see. This is 90. Let's make that... 180. <laughs> 180. And that's additional 30. Let's make that 60. 60 vent it all to space. Uh, what was this one? This one is uh, 180. Let's make this 240. Oh, 200 seconds max. Okay. Unless we put another, uh, <laughs> we chain together the, 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 the filters. So maybe, th maybe, maybe now we'll burn through some of that hydrogen. There we go. Hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. I would like to see it empty this shit out. Also, we can't let it run all the way down until the batteries are done, right? That, that'll be a problem too. But the batteries are maintaining, so it's providing enough power based off the needs, so... Wow, it's actually... Whoa! It, it was... For a minute there, it was actually f filling it up, I think, by itself. Wow. Well, we'll just keep an eye on that, and if it starts to be a problem, then we'll find a buffer. Like, maybe a gas tank somewhere or something. We have the room, we can put a gas tank here, here. Gas reservoir. Ah. <sighs> All right, so temperature's good. That's gonna regulate itself over time. We get this room no longer being super hot anymore. Uh, the floor, I mean, insulated tile everywhere is really silly too. Like, we should probably change that out. Like, regular tile. It's also save us some resources. So let's go ahead and actually start that project real quick. Damn it. It's not that important. 
Uh, let's make it like a six. It's cheap, and... Like I said, the, the insulate is just not necessary. Here, uh, it doesn't really matter, but we'll do it anyways. The top one, I mean, does it really matter? Do it. Come on. To be up the code for space. <laughs> so good, this will, uh, free up a little bit of resources. What are these things all made out of? Sedimentary rock? Sure, so we definitely need more sedimentary rock, right? Oh, wait, what is the insulated? Granite, okay. Maybe we can do something with granite. Oh, let's get rid of these, uh, some buildings. There we go. Get rid of those. Good. Hydrogen's being emptied. That's what I want to see. Ah. Uh, unlimited power, man. What can we do to spend spend money on power or spend uh power? Just build some more aqua tuners, right? 